for a Christmas video. This is not inappropriate. Wait, I'm gonna change. Much better. Hey guys, so I know Halloween was last week, but, um, and I'm sorry there weren't any Halloween videos, it's just, just uh, where I live, we don't really celebrate Halloween, so I didn't get really into the spirit of Halloween, but uh, today I bring you the first Christmas video of my Christmas series, and I thought I would start earlier, because last year I had so many ideas and I couldn't make any just one video, so this is actually my last uh, year video, but it was extremely long and extremely boring, so what I did was I just re-edited and I uh, took a few things out because I thought they were not necessary. So that's what I did and here it is because I want people to meet, be able to start making the projects earlier so here it is, I hope you liked it and don't forget to leave a request if you have any Christmas requests put them in the comments below so I can make them and you can see them and I'll try to make tons, tons, tons of Christmas videos because Christmas is my favorite holiday and with that being said, let's get into the day wise So the first thing I'm gonna show you how to do is your very own Levotic stocking You will need a canvas stocking, paintbrush, fabric paint, your Levitic stamp, stencils are optional, and a plastic bag. Start by stuffing the stocking with your plastic bag so the paint won't leak to the other side of the fabric. Then, take your stamp and use your paintbrush to apply fabric paint evenly on the stamp. Then, start stamping the stocking and repeat this process until your stocking is covered with the stamp pattern. You can stamp however you want. Be creative! Arrange your stencil letters if you're going to spell something on top of your stocking. Mine will say Levotic, obviously. Remember to paint on an up and down motion. And once you paint all of your letters and your stamps, just let it dry overnight. And once it's dry, it's going to be finished. Just take the plastic bag and it's ready to be hanged and to be filled with goodies Levotic will enjoy. The second idea is how to make Levotic glitter ornaments. You're going to need a foam sheet, the Levotic stamp, fabric paint, brush or a sponge, glitter the same color of your fabric paint, a punching tool or a big needle, scissors and hairspray. Start by taking your stamps and with your brush or a sponge, spread a generous amount of paint. Press the stamp on the foam sheet. This is going to be your reference to use as a guide, so you will end up with a blurred image of the heart. Fill the blurred image with a generous amount of paint or glue if you don't have puffy paint. Once you fill the shape with your paint or glue, pour on top of it glitter. The paint or glue has to be fresh so the glitter will adhere to the paint. You can shake the excess glitter off on a plate or on your container. You're going to repeat this process all over the foam sheet or to do as many ornaments as you want. Once it's dry, you're going to cut it, and you can use a dry brush to shake all of the excess off. Cut the excess foam sheet around the heart, but leaving a small border. Once you have cut around the heart, take your punching tool, in my case a big needle, and I punch the hole at the top right corner of the heart, and I thread the ribbon, you can use yarn if you want, and I looped it on the hole and make a double knot at the top to have a loop so I can hang it on my tree. And once you knot it, cut the axis ribbon or yarn off. Then, once you repeat this process with all of your ornaments, you're going to take hairspray and spray all of your ornaments. This will prevent the glitter from falling off the ornaments. And once you did all of that, it's finished. You can now hang them on your tree. The third idea is a paper Levotic ornament. You'll need cardstock in two different colors. I cut mine into strips. Two 20 cm long by 1 cm wide strips. And two 15 cm long by 1 cm wide strips. Thread, image you want inside your ornaments, and a hot glue gun. Start by preheating your hot glue gun. Take a long strip and a short strip and hot glue them together like so and repeat with the other two strips. Then, take a ribbon or a thread and create a loop. Glue the loop on top on the side of the short strip. 
then take more ribbon or thread and cut a long piece and glue it also with a ribbon loop. Then take the short strip and glue it to the bottom of the long strip like so and repeat this step on the other two strips. Once are both like this, hot glue the top with the ribbon and the thread. Then pull the thread not too tight, just enough so it will extend. And glue the other two ends together. Finally, glue the image on top of the middle thread. Use extra glue on the back to secure the image. And you are done. You can now hang it on your tree. Lastly, I'll show you how to make Lovatic wrapping paper. You will need brown paper, the Lovatic stamp, and a stamp pad. All you have to do is cut a piece big enough to wrap your gift. With the stamp pad and the Lovatic stamp, stamp the whole piece of paper going with a random or uniform pattern. Once you stamp the piece, just take the paper and wrap your gift as normal. And there you go! I'm pretty sure your Lovatic friend will enjoy the wrapping paper as much of the gift wrapped inside. So those were all of the projects today. Tell me in the comments which one was your favorite. Don't forget to leave a request in the comments below. See you in the next video guys!